Welcome back, OSLP family. Welcome, welcome. You guys, I, okay. You're listening to our Sleep Life podcast. And this is Kelly. This is Mel. I got, I just got really got excited. Really excited. I like, got real excited. So, I'm, oh my god. Okay, I'm bringing it you down. You ready to tell them where we're at? We are in a fabulous studio in Orlando, Florida. Well, technically, yeah, where are we? <laughs> we're, I mean, we're in Florida. That's we're all that Florida. matters, That's right? All that matters. We don't know exactly what state or or city, but we're in Florida, and we're in a like a beautiful, beautiful studio. Yes. And, and we actually are meeting Dr. Dovek, Dr. Dr. Bello, Bello, in person. Welcome onto the show, you guys. Welcome, guys. Thank you. Thanks we are lot. thrilled to be here. Absolutely. We are finally in the same room. I know. It's really weird. Yeah, it's this really is weird. Interesting. It's like slub seeing you two. Let me tell you. I mean, Aww. I mean, this is going to be so special. But yes, we are here in Orlando, Florida. We have just moved and we have a lot to talk about. A yes. lot to talk about. Yes. Yes. yes, 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 yes. I want to know all the things. Yes. I want to know how you guys started, like how you met, what what yeah. spurred on for you guys to be partners in the bariatric field. Well, it was a cold day. I know. Go <laughs> all the way back. In November of 2006. Yeah. Wow. That's when I met this guy. I remember the day I met him. Oh. So he, it's a long story, but we got nothing but time, right, girls? Yeah, exactly, right. exactly. <laughs> exactly. Why we're here. All the things. All right. So the way it works, and we've talked about this a little bit on one of the pods, mm-hmm. but we, um, you go to high school, mm-hmm. then you go to college, mm-hmm. and then you go to medical school. Mm -hmm. And then after medical school, we wanted to be surgeons. And so you go to general surgery residency, which is five years. So the first year you're considered an intern just starting. Years two and three, you're a junior resident. And then years four, you're a senior resident. And then year five, you're a chief resident. Oh, my gosh. So there is a very, very strict hierarchy there of how you do it. The first day, you know nothing. You think when you graduate from medical school, you're finally an MD or a medical doctor. You should know what you're doing. You know nothing. You You know know nothing. nothing. Like people... Family members will come to you and say, hey, um, I have this pain here. I, I got nothing for you. I have no <laughs> idea. So you have to learn. You have to learn how to operate, all the different surgeries, what you want to do. Mm-hmm. So I am from the Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania area. I'm from outside Pittsburgh. And I really wanted to be in the area to do the general surgery residency training. So you have to go on this huge interview trail and you meet all these different programs and personalities. And you have to decide, like, where do I want to spend the next five years? And it's not just spending Mm -hmm. five years with them. It is spending um, 80 plus, plus, plus hours a week with these people. You're living with them, basically. You live with these people. (laughs) Yes. So you're like, what do I think? Well... November of 2006 is when I was doing the interview trail. And then I went to West Penn Hospital Mm -hmm. in Pittsburgh. Mm -hmm. And I met this guy who was already an intern there. He was already a resident. Oh, okay. Oh, that's cool. He has no memory of this. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, no. Oh, no, Dr. Bell. Regretfully, I want to agree with that. (laughs) I do not have memory of that. A little bit. She's tall, blonde, kind of hard to forget, but yes. Yeah, that's you what I'm thinking. Hard to forget, yes, yes, yeah. you're yes, definitely yes, hard yes. to forget. But, but he forgot me. He, he didn't even take note of me. I, he never <laughs> knew I existed. So what have you. Anyway, I loved it. I loved the vibe there. It was um, unique. There was only one female in the whole program. So oh they gosh. take three residents per year, and then they take some more interns. So there was like a program of 20 people, one girl, Amber, if you're mm-hmm. watching, I'm sure she's an avid um, podcast. She is a, uh, a surgeon in Oklahoma now. Ooh. But anyway, uh-huh. um, so I was like, I loved it. I loved the vibe of the program. And anyway, I matched there. And that's where I wanted to go. And Aww. I matched there. And the first rotation was colorectal surgery. And he was my now junior resident. He oh. was now yeah. the big second year in charge. Very cool. This is when the memory starts to come. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's like, now I know. This is That's now so 2007, funny. right? Yes, this, this is, is now 2007. Yes. Okay. July 1 is when all the next year starts. So he moved up a year. I'm coming in to start. And then cool. and then we, we did a little bit of training together. He ultimately went off to Penn State. I was in the Pittsburgh area. And then after residency, we do fellowship. Mm-hmm. And then take it from there. What did you do after fellowship? Hmm. Well, fellowship. So first, Kelly and Mel, very excited to meet you. Yes. I have <laughs> heard all about both of you through Aww. our girlfriend here, and um, she has so many good things to tell Aww. say about you too. So Thank you. it's a true honor to be here with you, and I'm excited for the next whatever 45 minutes an hour that we have here to chat. So, yes, yeah. yes. Um, but yeah, so 
you know, we part ways, then we did our thing, we did our fellowships, we kind of kept in kind of kept in contact a little bit here and there okay. through conferences and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and I remember this one uh, night, I so I finished fellowship and I end up going to the middle of nowhere in uh, um, Southwest PA. Okay. For a job. Okay. The story is long how I ended <laughs> up there. But no, I want to hear all the things. For the time, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut that part. But <laughs> I am in the middle of a little place called Uniontown um, in, in Southwest PA. So I was hired to work for three years mm -hmm. and at the end, end of my third year in a snowy day i'm pulling out my garage 6 p.m i remember vividly it was <laughs> still snowing and all this other stuff and as i'm pulling in in the garage there is this phone call from betsy i haven't talked to her maybe in what a couple of years mm -hmm. i don't know a year and a half two years <laughs> awfully odd okay right yeah you answer that call you're like what it's <laughs> winter i gotta pick this up you know yeah. and i did not come off the car i just stayed in the car in the driveway, and I picked up this phone call, and I say, see, I heard, you know, obviously a very friendly and um, voice mm -hmm. from Betsy. She's like, how are you? We, we, you know, we updated ourselves and what we were doing. Then she says, what are you doing nowadays? I'm in Uniontown. I'm working. I have a you know, six months left to go. And then she said, you know, would you be interested in coming down to Baltimore and join me in this practice? And... That conversation took about an hour and a half. I remember my wife <laughs> peeking from the window. It's like, <laughs> what are you doing? What is going like, on? What's going on? You can't, you know, come in. It's yeah. Like, and I'm talking to her and talking to her. It's like, so she explained the whole thing, what she was doing at the time. She just joined about a year ago, this practice, and then her senior partner left. She's by herself, and she was looking for someone to, you know, join her. And oh. um, at the time, I had decided that I didn't want to be in Union Town, obviously, but I told my wife, we don't want to go with our first offer. We're going to look mm -hmm. carefully. Mm -hmm. We're going to find the right place. I don't want to be moving from place to place, blah, blah, blah. And our search had started it just at the time she called me. And I said, well, Baltimore isn't like the sexiest place <laughs> in the world. You know? I'm like, I don't know. I mean... And we've been in Baltimore because part of my training was in Hershey, which is about an hour away. Oh, okay. And we frequent Baltimore a lot. We would go down with just the airport and, you know, we would go down for entertainment a lot to Baltimore. But um, never thought um, I was going to end up there. So when she proposed that, I was like, well, at least we got to go and see this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, check um, it out. What she said would look super, super interesting. And mm -hmm. having the, the most interesting part of the job is having a partner that you already know. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And we're friends with usually what happens is you hire you get hired and then you get to meet your partners the day first day of the job mm -hmm. you know what they are like you don't know, oh. you know and this is it's very attractive to me the fact that i was going to work in a place where i knew who was going to be working with me mm -hmm. so yeah. long story ever short we go down interview to baltimore i think it was about february and i came out of the interview and i told my wife listen this is it. Oh. We aren't looking at anything else. We did an interview anywhere else. Oh, wow. We pretty much accepted the offer and started in July. Wow. Holy moly. Now, <laughs> I'll tell you what happened next, next six years. Um, I, I came out of that interview thinking this is special. This is going to be great. Mm -hmm. And I had great expectations. But what came next surpassed greatly what I have envisioned in this oh, first interview. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, these six years were just absolutely fantastic, Aww. fantastic, and that's and uh, that's why I guess we're here. <laughs> yes, Still. and yes. you got him to go yeah. to Florida. Yes, and then the story continues. Right. Do we still have any yes. listeners yeah. out there? The journey <laughs> continues. So, what made you make that phone call, though? Oh my goodness. Well, when we would be on call, good I mean, question. again, <laughs> when, when there's. It's a good question. Now, when you're in residency, again, you are basically like living with these people and you're mm -hmm. talking in late nights about your hopes and your dreams and what do you want out of this world? Mm -hmm. And we both, on very, very, very young in our careers when we were baby doctors, were like, we want to do bariatric surgery. Okay. I knew that I wanted to do bariatric surgery. I went mm -hmm. into general surgery residency. I, I suffered through all of the other rotations of trauma and breast surgery and vascular and God love all the people that do all those types of specialties. But mm -hmm. I knew the I saw bariatrics one day when I was in medical school and I knew for a fact that's what I wanted to spend my life doing. And he shared the same passion. And we were like, how crazy would it be if we could? I mean, you just think about all these things. You're like, one day we'll work together and mm -hmm. we'll be together and we'll yeah. develop this amazing thing. Mm 
Mm-hmm. And um, it happened and we could do it. Now you can do yeah. it. I you mean, we it. completely understand because that's, I mean, that's how we, that's how we started. And how this happened. Yeah. And we constantly <laughs> talk about, okay, where are we going? What are we doing next? And you dream and you just like, when you're passionate about something, you just continue to like grow on that. So I, yeah, I get it. I completely get it. I, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. I mean, big decisions Mm -hmm. sometimes like when you know, you know, Mm -hmm. yeah. And you two are great partners. You understand it. Like you just said, we're great partners. And, uh, that's how I make all big decisions in my Mm -hmm. life. I kind of, I see something, I'm like, that's it. I'm going to just totally change the trajectory of the way I thought my life was going to go. And I'm going to just follow my heart and my gut on this one and Mm -hmm. go for it. Yep. Enter stage left Advent Health. Yes. (laughs) Yes. Advent Health. (laughs) Advent Health. (laughs) Advent Health in Orlando, Florida. Yeah. I never thought I was going to go much more south than Maryland. Like, that was kind of the limit for me. Okay. I never thought, because you know, every geographical region has its own personality. Oh, yeah. Like, could you guys imagine not living in Oregon? Right. It's a little weird. Yeah. I mean, we've talked about We talked about it on this trip, we actually. Did. We were we like, I don't know. We, I mean, we could move to Florida because everyone's so nice here. Yeah. Give, give yourself a couple more days here. <laughs> <laughs> we ask you that question a couple of days, right? Yeah. We'll answer that on Friday when we fly oh, out. Right. Yeah. 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 We're like, you know, I mean, this is pretty cool. This is pretty chill because like, Oregon weather is kind of like chaotic too. Like it can rain, snow, I'd be in ice hail, and then be sunny in the same day. Yeah. So mm-hmm. like this weather is not really phasing us. We're like, all right, cool. Like they're kind of like really pretty. Like the, the storms that are coming through. <laughs> Yeah, but, yeah, I love the storms. But, I love. I'm obsessed with storms. But yeah, like I never thought I would actually leave Oregon. Like that's the deal. So yeah, I get that. It's like no, nope, not leaving. Not going anywhere further. Yeah, you know, I read this statistic once where 95 percent of the world's population lives within five miles of where they were born. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Very close. They people don't venture. This is what we did. Mm-hmm. What God? What this man did? I mean, he's from Venezuela. Yes. Yeah. I was gonna yeah. ask. I was gonna ask. I want to know more about that, too. And there's a lot of references <laughs> yeah. to snow in his stories because that's, like, you know. It's the, huge, it's yeah. It's a huge yeah. thing. Like, I remember it by shoveling the snow. It was February because there was snow. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I know Absolutely. that. that uh, For sure. But um, I once we, we had something so special in Baltimore. Yeah. And it was this very enormous opportunity that here at Advent Health. So Advent Health. Mm-hmm. Big health system. They are. They have fifty hospitals over nine states. Wow. They have something like eighty thousand employees. I think they treat millions of patients every single year. Their wow. mothership of this enormous organization is here in Orlando, Florida, oh. and they don't have bariatric surgery at all. Ooh. What? I missing know. out. Missing out. I I I didn't know that. Oh, you didn't? Oh. No, I didn't know that either. No idea. I just figured that they had. These bariatric clinics all over. Yeah. No. Oh, so, my God. So we felt this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to have something like this with the resources. This yeah. is a 1,400-bed hospital. It's like the top three biggest in the United States of America. Wow. And they they don't have a big medical weight loss presence, and they okay. don't have any surgical weight loss presence at the Orlando campus. Wow. So that's our job. Oh. They've they've trusted in us and our vision, which I would love to talk about. That's yes. a little unconventional yes. in how we think that we are going to make a dent in the obesity s- epidemic by yeah. doing different things. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because there's so many people that need this help. Like mm-hmm. it's in, it's insane how many people need this. What's help. the statistic again on how many people are eligible versus actually get? Yes, yeah. yeah, so this is my favorite thing. Yeah. There are of all the millions and millions of people in the United States, Americans mm-hmm. who are eligible to have bariatric surgery, mm-hmm. less than one percent get it. It's nuts. Absolutely, that's nuts. I just nuts. I don't but. understand. Like yeah. I I mean, is it? Do you feel like it's people just don't know that it's an option? Definitely. I think there's okay. so many barriers to care. People don't know. People don't think they're big enough. They don't know what qualifies. They're like, I'll do it tomorrow. I'll mm-hmm. put it off. I'm, you know, it, I mean, wh- let's talk. I love I mean, yeah, back to your story. Cause mine was like, I didn't think I was big enough. I yep. was just in denial. <laughs> yeah. I really like that. 308 pounds is uh, definitely time to go make a call. <laughs> <just gonna say. laughs> do something. We're not, we yeah. need some help. Yeah. Like, there's some help that needs to be added. Yes. Um, but then I was just like, I just assumed my insurance didn't cover it. And then I was like, I don't want to make that phone call. <laughs> just because wow. anytime you call, like you get yeah. in like a phone tree line and you're just like, 
this is a long call. Intimidating, right? It's yeah. very scary. Very intimidating. Yeah, because like you're like, oh, I don't want to do that today. And so you just keep pushing it off and you put it on your calendar thinking you're going to do it and it doesn't happen until mm-hmm. you actually do it. Mm-hmm. Like I think I avoided almost a year's worth of wanting to do it. Actually, wanting to do it was probably three years. Really? Like, actually doing it. Yeah. That's, I didn't realize that. That's average. A long time. Is yep. it really? Three years average from the time <gasps> you think about it until you make the phone call. Yeah. Whoa. Just taking step yeah. one is two step years. Step one is two years. Yeah. So it yeah. took me three years. And then like what on year two, when I finally did it was because of my dad dying. So it was like, mm-hmm. okay, mm-hmm. we got to get healthy. He was 59 years old. <laughs> like this is not, wow. this is not good. So like we have to do something. So mm-hmm. yeah, we need people to know. Like, yeah. Hey. And I didn't, I mean, I only knew about it because Mel had it. Mm-hmm. But I was not in a headspace to get it. I, I knew that I was not going to give up my only comfort. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then I very vividly, and I've talked about this on the pod in the past, but I very vividly remember the moment of going to my sister's birthday party at a vineyard and I had gotten all dressed up. I don't know why I didn't realize that 2XL is not, like, it, it's not it, yeah. it's not small. You're like, oh, it's fine. That's just what I am now. Yeah. You don't realize, like, the gravity of it. Uh-huh. Yeah. And I remember getting all dressed up, and it was, I mean, I was basically bedridden for about three years. So when I got dressed up and did my makeup and went out, like, it was a, it was a big deal. An all-day event. Yeah. Because it would take me five hours to do my makeup and hair because yeah. I would have to take breaks in between. Well, I would have to sit down. Well, people that are listening, if you don't know, like Kelly has lupus, rheumatoid arthritis, and fibromyalgia. So yeah. like, that's why she was. Bedridden. Yeah. Yeah. And I was basically on pain meds my entire, all day, every day. Hmm. And uh, I remember getting dressed up and I was taking photos with my now ex-husband and I remember looking at him because I was so excited to see them. Like there was this beautiful sunset and it's a gorgeous vineyard. And I look at it and I turn the camera around and I'm just like, how? How? How, yeah, how, how am I that big? Yeah. How am I that big? Like I just didn't understand. And I just remember like my brain just crumbling mm. over this. And I was just like, I have to do something about this. This is not okay. Like I felt like crap. I And I remember the, the ne- that next Monday I made the phone call. Yeah. You know, th- you're both describing breaking points. Mm-hmm. Kelly, yours is the most common breaking point, which really? people don't think. It's seeing themselves in a picture. Mm-hmm. And it's like, wait, I, I don't know how I, I didn't know I, I looked this way. Mm-hmm. And actually, Disney World, we've talked about this before, mm-hmm. is a huge driver to people to be like, yes. that's it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Flying down here. Mm-hmm. You guys were comfortably in the seats. You got your yep. seat belts going mm-hmm. um, easily buckled without oh, extenders. I took mm-hmm. photos because I'm yes. like, this yeah. is amazing. This is a huge, I that's it. Room. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You're like, the and you space NSV. on the sides. And yeah. So it's, travel was comfortable mm-hmm. for you, yeah. but remember how it was. Right. And then getting, you went to Universal yesterday, we heard. Yeah. And you're talking about the rides you're riding. Mm-hmm. You weren't worried about doing the walk of shame because the the, the bar wouldn't mm-hmm. come down. Um, mm-hmm. I mean, those are big things. And then being at the park, you want to take pictures. Yep. yep. And no, don't you dare to, you're going to threaten lives if someone comes near you with a camera. Right? Mm-hmm. Yes. I remember. I was like, no, I'll take selfies. It's fine. Yeah. Because selfies, I mean, you can go up in the air. <laughs> you you know can do. Angles. Yeah, oh, yeah, you know your angles. So, I mean, like, you're like, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm looking good. And then if somebody else takes a photo, that's when it hits you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because it's a true angle. And it doesn't matter if they hold the phone up or not. Like, it's you a true it. angle of what you look like. Yep. It's yeah. it's hard. It's and, a hard reality. And I, and I feel like breaking phones like that happens constantly. Mm-hmm. The problem is when you have them, you have to have tools Mm. available to you Mm -hmm. to fight that. Like, if you don't understand that surgery is actually something that is there, that is available, Mm -hmm. that isn't that intimidating, Mm -hmm. and you might hit a breaking point and just walk right through it, Mm -hmm. never come out of it. Yep. Yeah. I I mean... And that's what this podcast is about, is getting the resources out there. Because, like... Like I said, it took three years for me, and then like just on making all those calls was scary. And so like if we can make it easier, mm-hmm. and you guys are making steps towards That's making it easier yeah. for people to get in contact. A lot with of you. virtual stuff, which That's is super mission. cool. That's part of our mission. That one percent, mm-hmm. we're gonna end it. We're gonna make it two. Yes. We're gonna double it. Yes, right? we're gonna right. double it first year, and then we're, we're gonna keep it. going. Yes, I'm saying as yes. working together, we're gonna get that to twenty and thirty. Oh my yep. goodness! Get there. Oh yeah, we're shooting for the moon. Yeah, like I want to see. I would love to see 95%. Like, I would love to see. I know. I know. But I just, like, I can see it. I can envision all these people knowing where to go. 
Well, and no one should feel bad because they need surgery. Because that's there's so much shame mm -hmm. behind it. Because I know I feel it. Absolutely. Like it sucks. Mm -hmm. And so it's like if we can make that shame go away, mm -hmm. the number will have to go up. No doubt. And that's what we want to do. So like you guys have described, the mm -hmm. first step, intimidating. The first step in doing mm -hmm. something so overwhelming like changing mm -hmm. your life mm -hmm. is going to be the hardest step. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so what we want people to know is that we are accepting new patients. Yeah. yeah. And all you have to do is go to our website, adventhealthweightloss.com. Easy peasy. AdventHealthWeightLoss.com. When you go there, you click on the big Get Started Now button. How do you get started? You click on Get Started Now. Oh, yeah. You can't miss it. I mean, we try to, you know, let's go. Yeah. Anywhere you're at on the website, guess what? It's reminding you want to get started. Just click right here. Yes. Fill out a couple things. We'll take it from there. That's it. AdventHealthWeightLoss.com. You go to the website, Get Started Now. You take it from there. And then... Let's talk about the initial consult. So describe yeah, that's that sort like? of well, he was the visionary on this. So okay. I want him to describe Ooh, this. I want to well, hear all this. Whatever you are, actually, you can click that button wherever you are in the world. Don't you think you have to be in Orlando or Florida? What? Okay. That okay. is the important thing to point out there. Whatever you are, you're thinking about this. Mm -hmm. You just hit a breaking point. You had a bad night. Mm -hmm. Go on a website. Click start now. Life will change soon. Oh, my now, goodness. Initial consoles. This has a concept that's been evolving through the years, I mm -hmm. think. And um, and I think we got it down now to a point where it's going to break down a lot of barriers. It's going to help mm -hmm. a lot. So the first thing to say is that 100% virtual clinic. So everything we do is virtual. You don't have to uh, necessarily come travel or meet us anywhere or sit in a waiting room for an hour or you know take off work, find babysitting to leave your kids with. Yeah. None of that. You Love know, it. You want to see wow. us, you make an appointment, find you know 30 minutes of your time uh, where you can just hide behind a phone yeah. in your own house or home or place, and, yeah. and that's what you have to do. And we, we found out, obviously, through COVID, mm. as you all know, we were all, all pretty much healthcare was forced to move into telemedicine, mm -hmm. and it was a great thing. We realized that our patients were not just more compliant and, and to their appointments, but the whole vibe of seeing them through virtual mm -hmm. made it so much easier. Patients uh, have a tendency to open up a lot more. Mm -hmm. They are in their own environment. They're more comfortable. Mm -hmm. They're not seeing a 6'3 guy or a 6' <laughs> foot tall blondie you uh -huh. know, uh -huh. with a white coat on and a desk <laughs> and all these you know things stuck to the wall, intimidating. Mm -hmm. you know, we are casual. They are at their you know, home environments mm -hmm. and becomes a really nice chit-chatting and understanding on how did you end up here mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. what's the problem, what happened, um, get to know you better, the dog's jumping over you, we get to know the dog too, <laughs> the kids. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's it's yeah. so much personable, okay? And that helped tremendously, and we took it from there, I think. So the way we do our initial consults, once you click the button, start now button, you're going to get a link to, um, usually it's through a Zoom, um, usually Zoom or any other one of these um, digital platforms where we going to meet a lot of people, mm -hmm. usually yeah. upwards of 15 or 20, and um, at the same time, and Betsy or myself, one of the two, will go through a well, about 45 minute long presentation where we're going to answer all your wow. questions regarding weight loss surgery. So we're going to go over the process, we're going to go over the surgeries, the risks, the benefit, and we're going to explain in detail every surgery we do, pros and cons. Okay. And um, we're going to try to motivate you the best we can, mm -hmm. okay, cheer you up. And mm -hmm. after that, when we finish our session, then we get to see you privately. So we're going to go in a private session where we're going to spend time just for you and getting to know you, as I said before, getting to learn your story, um, your environment and understand exactly how can we wow. help you. So I'll tell you, by the end of the visit, we know you pretty well. Yeah. I would imagine. Yeah. 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 Well. I'm sure, okay. yes. We get to know you and um, it's exciting. I, mean, I feel like even though we're not present, we're not in person, I definitely feel we get to know our patients a lot better than we used to when we were wearing these white coats and things. Mm -hmm. and. And, and meeting in person. So because that's the white coat syndrome, right? We're like Oh, there is there is interesting, yeah. There's a yeah. white coat syndrome for sure. That happens to intimidate a lot of people. Actually they make their blood pressure go up, mm -hmm. their heart rate go up. Really? There's been oh, studies yeah. about this. And yeah. um, wow. in places like Europe, for example, that white coat is gone. You don't see them pretty much. There are places in the world where white coats have been already abandoned for, for a number of reasons. I mean it's it's still, you know, one of these 
stigmas and, and, and symbols mm. of, okay. of physician, all these mm -hmm. other things, but it also could represent a barrier at times. Yeah, you know, know. Depending mm -hmm. on how you use it, depending on certainly on what we do, when mm -hmm. we want the patients to open up as much as they can, mm -hmm. this is, mm -hmm. it's a low point for our patients as, Mm -hmm. you know to get and explain how is mm -hmm. it that you get to be where you are yeah mm -hmm. and sometimes you have to dig in very deep and get to places where patients don't want to go there you know mm -hmm. and and to do that you have to f somehow you know get them to open and feel comfortable yes yeah. yes i i mean that first initial consultation is so scary because I know from personal, I didn't know really anything. Like, mm. not like I do now, obviously, because we do a lot of research. But walking in there, is, it, it's terrifying. And you, it's shit. Like, you, in your head, you're just like, what? How did I get here? Yeah. How did I get here? Yeah. I don't understand. I don't want to do this. I don't want to change my life. But you, but you do want to change your life. Right. It's like a whole new walk of shame. It, <laughs> it's like a whole new one hundred percent. Yes, it yeah. is a medical walk of shame. Because like mine was an hour away from my house. Yours was mine 45. was forty five minutes. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So like the drive. <laughs> yes. And then the wait in the lobby. You're just like, mm, I can't believe I did this to myself. Like, do you guys have bags you can put over my head so that yeah. no one walking by this door that says obesity oh. on it? Right, I'm sitting yeah. inside of this room. Yep, oh, exactly. It was just icky. The yeah. mask, the masks came later because th <laughs> that would have been perfect. Just hide behind your mask. Just sit in the lo well, and then you walk in and they've got these like extra big chairs, yeah. uh, and which I get. Like I get the the and need it feels for them. Nice to have the extra room. I'm not gonna it, lie. I'm not gonna lie. I liked the extra room, but like looking down and seeing like that you take up that whole chair, like that's not a fun feeling nope. either. Like it's just the whole experience when you walk into an, a waiting room is just... Yeah, it's, it's a reality check for sure. Well, and I think like, a, hmm. a lot of people, they go see their doctor and they get told, you need to lose weight, you need to lose weight, you need to lose weight. It's the answer to everything. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my back hurts, you need to lose weight. Oh, my toe hurts, you need to lose weight. Like, that's what I always heard, you know? Um, I'm having nonstop flares. You, well, you need to lose weight. Thanks. Uh, yeah. I never thought of that. Yeah. Right? I'll <laughs> get right on that. Is there a, is there a button I can push to do that? No, I'm not. Yeah. Right. There, there is, is now. now. Actually. Oh, now. I wish we had one. So yeah. we have. Wait, what do you guys one, think Dr. about Bello. this? Oh, oh, I want to well, know. Well, we actually literally have a button. I want to know literally. what you guys think. Okay. Literally. All right. First of all, you guys know we're a little bit extra. Oh. Oh, 100%. Yeah. yeah I connect with so you. Well. Yeah. I am a bougie, bougie girl. So I get it. Yes. I love it. Bougie trash panda over here. Okay. I love that word bougie. It's just been incorporated into my life, even though there was that song like 20 years ago called Bougetta. That's another story. I don't know if you guys know about that. No, but I'm going to look be your it up. That's going to theme song. Uh, okay, yes. <laughs> so Advent Health came up with this idea, which is brilliant, because our whole thing was like, let's make it easy. Mm -hmm. Get started now. Make it simple. Mm -hmm. Like, cut down all these barriers, having to call this person and be on. Stop all that. So. Mm -hmm. You know the Staples Easy Button? Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we have Advent Health Weight Loss and Bariatric Surgery Easy Buttons that we take to the PCP's office. So if you, like, all right, here's how you get started. You push the Easy Button. It says, go to adventhealthweightloss.com. No, it does not. Oh, that's and adorable. Get started now. And then uh -huh. on the back, there's QR codes. So you can just be like... It's all good. This is how you get started. You just hold up your phone to the QR code. Obviously, we know how to do this in restaurants with uh -huh. COVID. Yeah. And then people go right to that little form, the basic demographic information, your insurance information, because to your point, Mel, yes, we do accept insurance. And that is also our goal. We have been really trying to get to know the Florida insurance landscape mm -hmm. to go okay. beat down their doors and say, you don't cover it? Why? why here's the you? here's mm -hmm. the objective data why these are life-saving operations, why mm -hmm. your life is going to be longer, why your quality of life is going to be mm -hmm. better, mm -hmm. and you need to change your coverage you policy. You goosebumps. Like, you, you two are amazing. Like, you're just like, why? Let's get this did you, done. Did you imagine having... God forbid breast cancer and the insurance say, no, we don't cover right? that. Right? That'd be crazy. Right? I mean, it's just like the latest acceptable form of prejudice is obesity. I mean, they, they just don't care some insurances and it's just not acceptable. No. Mm -hmm. no. I mean, there's no good reason why in 2021 there's one single insurance shouldn't accept that. Yeah. I mean, that was our big thing was 
before you had to go through an information session and then you had to, I know, go there and if, where's the conference room? How far do mm-hmm. I have to walk? All those other considerations mm-hmm. we've already said. Mm-hmm. If you, again, I think breast cancer is such a good example. Mm-hmm. And another thing about breast cancer is if you or your mother or your sister or your female friend or anybody had breast cancer and the treatment, the best treatment, the best mm-hmm. treatment that exists was surgery, would you say that's the easy way out? Right. I say that Thank about you. hips, hip replacements, knee replacements. Yep. Like, if you, if I was like, oh, yeah, I got to have a knee replacement, mm, I don't know. Maybe you should walk some more yeah. and just mm-hmm. see if it, if it helps. I mean, no, nobody's going to say that. You're going to schedule your surgery and you're going to go in. Like, yeah. I don't understand it, it the difference. It would be a question. Yeah. No, no one would be, like, shaming you for it. Correct. That's ridiculous. Correct. Yeah, Go and walk it off. <laughs> exactly. Well, and we've discussed this. Yeah, just walk it off. Walk oh, the no. breast cancer off. You're fine. It's fine. Um, it's it's fine. fine. Kelly says it's fine. Um, so the the other thing is, is like the, with the insurance. Yeah. So we've talked about this before, but it saves them money in the long run. Yeah. Yes. Because yes. they're not paying for diabetes medication. They're not paying for pain blood, medication. They're not pressure. paying blood pressure yeah. medication. You know, what if you, you know, don't do the surgery and you're having a heart attack? Yeah. You're like, there's all these things that you're preventing by paying for this one surgery. Right. And like, I know my insurance covers preventative stuff, right? So like, why can't this all just be preventative stuff? Yeah. It is the ultimate preventative. Yeah. People say is, you know, is cosmetic. Even on Instagram, for goodness sake, I feel like I'm doing a peer-to-peer like I do with a medical director Mm -hmm. when I'm fighting to have, like, an ad approved because there's a before and after picture. It's like, you know, body shaming. I'm sure you guys get that, too, (sighs) if you ever try to to do it. It's it's frustrating. Everybody's an expert on weight loss, Mm -hmm. and there's just simply not. And there's a lot of misinformation out there, Mm -hmm. and that's why I I just really admire you ladies for trying to set the record straight as real patients, as advocates, as people trying to— well, because you know my stance, if you should be making medical decisions about people that are obese, if well, a you're not treating them, mm-hmm. and two if you haven't been one, like amen, it's ridiculous. Like you don't know. So then, how about you don't know over there, and how do the people that do know over here and make mm-hmm. those, the decisions that can really save uh, thousands and thousands of people's lives? Well, I mean, we talk to them almost weekly. Yeah. You hear them on the podcast of their stories, and we had one uh, Amber bypass. And she it almost was, died. It literally saved her life. It literally oh, saved her life. She was in the 500s. Like she was, yeah, saved Leg- her life. Legit needed this surgery mm-hmm. and it took so long to get to that point. And it's like, it should be, instead of being like, oh, you need to lose weight, try Weight Watchers. Try, they actually tried to send me to a weight loss clinic where they like, talk to you about how to lose weight and I'm like no 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 I've done every diet out there I've done Weight Watchers I've done keto I've done every single thing I've worked out like crazy I've done everything that you can think of I've done but they didn't even want to send me to a bariatric well, it, clinic it's confusing because isn't that a waste of time and money that's like, what I'm saying what is the most valuable thing in life your time so it's like yes. why, what are we doing here yeah it just drives me crazy. It it does. I don't understand it, and but that's why we're here. Yeah, that's I love why we're it. here. No, I want to do something fun. <laughs> of course. Okay, so I want to ask Dr. Bello a few questions here. Ooh, yes. Okay, so first of all, he is on Instagram. Ooh, His yes. His Instagram yeah. is Dr. Dot Bello. B e l l o. Now. Mm-hmm. He wanted that dot. You don't have that dot. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Yeah. Bella was very adamant about that dot. Yeah. Exactly. Yes. Were you? Boop. Yeah. Gotta be different. He earned that. Uh, he earned yes. that dot, though. Just saying. He, he did he earn mine that dot. Mine is Dr. Dovec, all one word, D-R-D-O-V-E-C. Without, Without a, dot. a dot. Or any other symbols, all one word. Huh? So good. So I've been begging this man, begging him, if I can really just have his login credentials to show them. I, I want to show a little bit more of his flair, but he insists on doing it. But For the record, you do have a login credentials. No, but I don't. She got I it. For the record. That is true, but All I right. don't touch it. That's another story. Okay. Ah. Now, so I want to ask him, what is your favorite surgery? Are you going to reveal it here on the pod? Oh. To do? Yeah. Well... 
Let me see how do I answer that one. I will tell you <laughs> that my favorite surgery to do is a gastric bypass. Okay. Ooh. That is ah. as a I'm not I'm not trying to minimize, you know, the sleeve, mm -hmm. but when it comes to doing it, it's an operation that um you know, it's a little longer, it's a little more challenging. Mm. There's more steps to it as a surgeon as a, you know, to do an operation that is a great surgery to do. I think um However, I do more sleep than I do bypasses. Ah, all right? okay. So okay. that is just a disclaimer there. Mm. <laughs> I think the sleep is a wonderful surgery too. I believe in um, both. <laughs> yes, um, it works. It's an, it's an awesome surgery. I do, I would say 60% of my, wow. my patients are, wow. are sleep gastrectomies. So can I ask you why you think the sleeve is more popular than the bypass? I think there's a couple of things to it. One is perception, mm -hmm. okay? And mm -hmm. I think that's probably the most important one. Patients come to the office thinking already about a sleeve. Mm -hmm. They have the perception that somehow it's less aggressive, it's mm -hmm. less invasive. Mm -hmm. Oh, I thought that, mm -hmm. yeah, 100%. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I was and scared. It's a little hard, and, and, and also the sleeve um, doesn't have the bad reputation the bypass got back in the days. So yeah. It's mm -hmm. still carrying that, mm -hmm. dragging, a bad reputation from the 80s, 90s, mm -hmm. where there's plenty of horror stories. Mm -hmm. yeah. those, those things are no longer seen, by the way. Those listening to this podcast and thinking that the gastric bypass of my you know, grandma that had 30 years ago, mm -hmm. it was a disaster. Those things are don't happen. I mean, we've, we've um, made big progress in this field. So technology, techniques, things, it's a different story. Mm -hmm. However, yeah. um, it is perceived still by yeah. many as a super radical. All mm -hmm. right, mm -hmm. and um, I mean, in a way, there is is a definitely a very involved operation, mm -hmm. but I don't see it personally more aggressive, more radical than the sleeve. You know, if you really want to get to the root of it, the sleeve gastrectomy, you're removing mm -hmm. seventy five percent yeah. of the stomach. That's mm -hmm. pretty radical, right there. Mm -hmm. You know, but um, and and I think in good hands, the risk of these operations are pretty much the same, and luckily, are minimal. Okay, mm -hmm. nowadays. Um, having an issue with the bypass or sleeve is just as common as having an issue while taking the gallbladder out or, you know, hysterectomy, things that we consider pretty routine. So, mm -hmm. um, but um, I think I think the sleeve, it's an operation that is perceived as safer, mm -hmm. quicker. It is quicker. Doesn't yeah. make it any safer, I think. Doesn't make it any um, less aggressive, but mm -hmm. it is an operation that is a little quicker. That's probably the reason why the sleeve is got so popular mm. so quickly. Mm -hmm. And the other reason is, um, as a surgeon, you know, you it's an operation seen as a technically easier, mm -hmm. okay? Quote, unquote. <laughs> all right? Yes. Because it isn't, okay? And and there's a many ways to do shortcuts when you're doing a sleeve as a surgeon. Mm. Hopefully, you know, you don't do them because if you if you try to shortcut this operation, you end up with a bad operation. And mm. there's, you see, weight gains and other issues happening afterwards. Yeah. But um, there's a lot of a lot of surgeons who, you know, decided, like, you know, I can do sleeve, maybe I'm not as good as bypasses, mm -hmm. but bypasses taking me taking me too long to do a bypass. Mm -hmm. I'm having more issues with bypasses. And eh, there's a natural push towards trying to do surgeries that you feel more comfortable. That doing. makes sense. Like, if yeah. you're more comfortable doing a leg surgery than, than exactly. whatever, then that's do what you're the yeah. most comfortable with, especially, like, you're, that's a person there. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, and I do want to point out that we do have a live surgery on our website, Both our sleevelifepodcast.com. We have two. We have one that's sleeve. We have one that's bypass. When we watch the bypass, oh my god! I remember us like being like, "Oh, <laughs> that's not that bad." Not like, bad. and we were both like, "Oh, maybe we should have done the bypass." <laughs> Yeah, when yeah. I was so in the GJ, which for all of you who did not tune in, you should check it out. Yes. It's the gastrogenostomy or the connection between the new little thumb-sized stomach pouch oh, yes. and the small intestine, which is called the jejunum. So that connection there is the mm -hmm. GJ. Yeah. And when I was sewing that, um, I asked you guys, I'm yeah. like, would if you had to do it all over again, yeah. would you still pick the sleeve? And we both said bypass. Yeah, I would have picked the bypass. Yeah. Cause I Why? Because now that I know... Uh, when, how, what it looks like. Mm -hmm. It's not as scary as I thought mm -hmm. it was actually going to be. And you lose more. Like, because I, I only got down to 179. And so I feel like if I got the bypass, I could have gone even further. Because, mm -hmm. like, I was doing two-a-days. Like, I was working out. Like, like, it became my passion was working out. So I'm like, mm -hmm. how do I get there? 
Mm -hmm. And I think if I had the bypass, I probably would have got there. Mm -hmm. Well, that brings up another point. We've talked about this as well. And that is hitting plateaus, not quite mm -hmm. hitting goals, having some weight regain, mm -hmm. life happening. Mm -hmm. All of those things yeah. are going to happen. We've written a great blog about it um, that's coming out soon on our Advent Health Weight Loss .com. Yeah. <laughs> um, you'll see that blog and it's awesome. But uh, but you know, what do you do? And we've talked about weight loss medications. Mm -hmm. I know you guys kind of did it. You've asked mm -hmm. your physicians, it wasn't a program, but soon we will have a virtual medical weight loss program where I could be your doctor. Oh, oh snap. Oh snap. <laughs> I mean, yeah. who doesn't want you as their doctor? I, know, I mean, really, I mean, really. Uh, oh I mean you, <laughs> you and Dr. Bella are the ultimate weight loss team. Like, Seriously. Ultimate, well, hands down. The ultimate package is this guy, Habla Espanol. I mean, how was that? Very good. <laughs> Hab oh. Habla, Welcome. Habla. Well, no, nope. we're not do? doing that, that, that today. That <laughs> <laughs> not today. Not today, Satan. Not today. Oh. Yeah, Thank so he know. speaks Spanish, which in this community, I love the culture here. I love the vibes. I love being able to treat patients. He's the first provider, I think, in all of uh, at least central Florida that speaks Spanish. Comes really? Yeah. It comes in handy. Yeah. 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 Sure does. Wow. I mean, that's a whole other demographic that you can help. Yeah. Definitely. Up yeah. in Baltimore, not so much. Here, yes. Yeah. For sure. Okay. And I know we have a huge... Uh, Hispanic population in Oregon too. Perfect, one hundred percent. Yeah, we do. Oregon people, Listen go up. on. Yeah, yeah go up. on. Advent Health. Just have to travel com. for surgery. And with that being said, yeah, I want to know about all that. Pre-op, post-op, virtual. Okay. We have a media producer on site. Oh, my god. So that gosh. these are not just, when he was describing the 45-minute, um, you know, kind of here's more information. Uh -huh. This isn't your typical, like, I'm going to talk at you. This is an, it, always live, always given by us, the surgeons. Wow. With the media producer, with all kinds of images and uh you know, the videos and motivation and and, and and clips and pictures. And it's going to be like, all right, I'm ready to run through a wall. Like, and at the other end, better be a weight loss surgeon. Like, I'm yeah. ready to come. So yeah. after you're all, all hyped up, we talk to you one-on-one. -on -one, and everything we do um, to prepare you for surgery and to make sure that you have lifelong success and all these programs, again, mm -hmm. are virtual. So the only thing you have to travel for is the surgery. Wow. And we, uh, we do have concierge. We're white glove here. We oh, are. We, sweet. This is this is truly when I write VIP experience. We have travel agents with discounted travel. I mean, you guys were talking about Universal and Disney and Sea World and the Kennedy Space Center and all these other amazing world attractions. Yeah. They're right here in our backyard, so you can make a trip out of it, yeah. get a little weight loss surgery while you're here. <laughs> yeah. We'll have clinical protocols to make sure that you are always safe as our top priority, mm -hmm. but just as equally as important, we've talked about this, is the patient experience. Yeah, mm -hmm. We want you to go home and be like, my God, my friend's in Oregon. So where'd you get your surgery? Down the street? No. We went to we went, we to, went to Florida. 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 Of course we went to Florida. Where yeah. else would we go? Yeah. Like, yeah. That's yeah. the only place to go. Yeah. Dr. Jovac, Dr. Bello, Advent Health. I mean, you can't ask for much better than that. Can't go wrong. And Florida with Disney World and Universal. Exactly. Well, yeah, and it was nice to like when I brought my family down like to do those things. Mm -hmm. So like that would be a like a good like here let's go have some fun as a family let's have let's go get our surgery like because like how long do they have to stay after before they can go on a plane? We're still working on that, but it's going to okay. be measured in just a few days. So okay. it's not going to be like you have to stay here for weeks and that gets very expensive. And we mm -hmm. understand you got to get back to life. So right. we're really um, following. We're really closely looking at that. There is actually a. Um, a surgeon who specializes in some prostate cancer. He does a lot of prostatectomies okay. in this area, and he does more than anyone else in the country. And they wow. have uh, people that come from all over the world, like Saudi princes come over here, and they have um, royalty. I don't know if you guys saw on my um, Instagram stories yesterday a story of the of the uh, the hospital room that they have. You guys got to check it out. Oh, we will. We will. We. I mean, we were kind I of. Mean, yeah, we were at this. We were at. We uh, were Orlando. distracted you by rides. Tell me, in Universal, you were not following closely <laughs> to what Dr. Dovek was posting on her Instagram. <laughs> Sorry. No, my yeah. phone was in the locker <laughs> all yes. the time. Yes. I mean, that is fun. I mean, <laughs> I was in the whole cry. They make you put your phone away. <laughs> they literally, they take all of your stuff. They like, they're everything. like, you cannot have it's anything. A, it's okay to say you were having fun. Yeah. We yeah. were having fun. <laughs> we around. were enjoying our, exactly. I know. Our vacation. We, but I guarantee you, like, we're back in it today. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> so we will check it out. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of posting today. Mm-hmm. Yes. I can, I can, uh, there's so much content. We can't even take pictures fast enough. I think we've already t- hit about one to 2,000 pictures taken in this <laughs> little studio. Oh, I'm, I'm <laughs> sure. Believe. that. And then we have our video oh, yeah. go. We've got our audio go. And I mean, it's yes, amazing. it's it's absolutely stunning in here. So I just, oh, I love it. Um, so tell me more about the white glove. Yes. Yeah. So, yes, we want to make sure that people are just, you know exactly what you're getting into. Mm-hmm. Like, where do I go? Someone's going to greet me. Mm-hmm. We take you there. We make sure that, um, you know, hopefully our, our thing is to have a fully um, integrated OR so mm-hmm. that when you walk in, there might be some surprises, maybe some videos on all the screens of people that you know and love Aww. welcome you and wishing you luck and saying we're praying for you. And that's, that's um, amazing. Just, and just lots of communication with the family mm-hmm. in the waiting room, updates constantly, um, just utilizing technology to just create an experience that. Why not? Why isn't bariatric surgery here in the 21st century? Why aren't we using the things that we use for other things? Like yeah. exactly ordering a food at Panera. My goodness, that that's easy. I mean, mm-hmm. we, we, we again, easy button, make it easy, make it clean, great quality, and just really hold everyone's hand during that process. Mm-hmm. And then for life after that. Oh, I love it. And so they can always, sorry, um, (laughs) they can always come back to you. So So I was going to say, you know, when you're there for the trip, of course, we were just talking about Disney. It might not be that fun. First of all, you might be anxious about the surgery. Mm -hmm. You might not want to even go and walk Mm -hmm. the 20,000 steps. Mm -hmm. Listen, that might not be the time, but we hope that we're going to have big, massive reunions where people will come back maybe for their one-year surge anniversary, and they they go to Disney then and... Mm -hmm. And they just live life. And they just, I mean, we got this one life. Yes. And yeah. just do it. Oh At God. the end of the day, you get one life. That would be the That's best it. surge anniversary like, ever. Can you imagine? <laughs> oh, I wish that I had even thought about that. Yeah, no. Because I'm on my sixth. <laughs> I've never yeah, done yeah. before. Yeah, celebrate them just like a, <laughs> yeah. a, a, year, a new year of life because it is that way. It's a, yeah, it, it exactly. is a new life that you're celebrating. and. People really, you should, I love the balloons. I love all the creativity mm-hmm. around, like, I accomplished this, and mm-hmm. I'm going to treat myself, and I'm going to celebrate this. Mm-hmm. So what do you do in your surge anniversaries? I've never done anything. That's what? what I'm saying. Like Nothing? Well, we no. did a giveaway this year. I saw Yeah, that. Like, we did we the do, giveaway. We do giveaways, but, like, I've never celebrated myself. I don't celebrate myself. I'm not good at it. She's really not. I'm not. I'm so, I, even when I like, graduated for, like, my bachelor's degree, like, it was in a different town. Like, it was, like, three-hour drive. And I was like, it's fine. They can just mail me my diploma. And my brother's like, you are going to this thing and walking across. Like, you're the only person in our family that's graduated. Like, what are you doing? And I'm like, mm-hmm. I don't know. I just, it's fine. Like, it's whatever. So I'm just not, I'm not good at it. Oh, we <laughs> got to so change bad. that. So yes. Bad. Yes. Yes. I think, well, my first surge anniversary landed in the pandemic. Mm. Oh, it did. Yeah, it did. <laughs> so I did a whole Zippo. Yeah. I did some pictures <laughs> of like some glitter thrown in the air yeah, and like, glitter. but there wasn't really anything special. And then this year, we did the giveaway. We did the giveaway because we like to treat our followers. That's right. Because they need to treat themselves. We're trying to like pay it forward. Yes. Excuse yeah. me. Are you taking your advice? I know. I know. <laughs> I'm like the worst. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> yes. Now, speaking of your followers, tell us a little bit about what you guys do. You guys have this whole thing. Oh wow. my gosh. It's, it's, it, we changed it up a little bit. So it's actually really cool that we're here because we can, now we can tell you all the new things that yeah. we've had. Yeah. Cause we actually changed. have a support group going. Yes. They're on the bench. So it's the, it's our benchies. It's the winner's bench. It's the winner's bench. We're taking out the loser part. Yes. Like, I don't like it. We've been made fun of, like, half of our life. Why would mm-hmm. we keep doing it on the other end? I get the whole point. Wow. We're losing weight. So I understand we're where losing it came ben- from. Yes. But no, like, we're winners now. Yes. So join us on the winner's bench. We are our benchies. Yes. And if you go to patreon.com forward slash OSLP, yes. sign up for that tier. And then, yeah, we're with you all day long on Facebook, on Messenger. Yep. So we talk you through things, and people ask questions, and they're giving mm-hmm. out tips and tricks and meal plans. And yep. And wow. you can Thanks. meet That's other amazing. bariatric yeah. patients on there. And, like, sometimes they are, like, super close. Yeah. So they actually get to, like, form these really cool relationships with other bariatric patients. Yeah, they're becoming friends. Yeah. That's pretty nice. cool. It's yeah. really fun. Wow. And actually, we had a follower send one of our merch sweaters to another follower, and she emailed us and she said, just so you guys know, 
I reached out to you, what, like, like right a, before her surgery, I yeah, think. Yeah, it was like a month before. Yeah, yeah, and she was like, hey, I'm having the bypass. Do you know anybody who would be yeah. willing to ask? I could ask mm-hmm. questions to. Yeah. And we were like, of course, yeah, we'll put it out there. So we put it out on our Instagram, and we said, hey, is anybody out there that had the bypass okay with answering some questions of a follower? Yep. So we connected these two girls, and they're like best friends now. Yeah. They legit wow. talk every they single did. day, all day. She they sent her this sweat. Yeah, they do walks. Like yeah. they're like legit, like best friends. Yeah. It's amazing, and it's like it gives me chills knowing that we could facilitate that special support for those two people. Mm-hmm. I had no idea that. Like, if the podcast didn't happen, then that wouldn't have happened. And we're like, mm-hmm. holy crap. <laughs> what a great story. It yes. is a great story. And yeah. I think that's one of my favorite things about this. Perfect strangers becoming mm-hmm. friends yep. and mm-hmm. unlikely meshes of people. Yes. And it, it, with the only common theme that, all right, well, we're both struggling with this mm-hmm. and we're human and we're going to go through this together. And I think that's critically important. You cannot mm-hmm. do this without support you and can't. about Period. You can't. If you're out there, like, sure, the first year might be good, but then after that, you need mm-hmm. you need help to stay focused and engaged, mm-hmm. and it, it's a lot. Yeah, I mean, lot. I'm on my second year, and I'm having, I mean, I've had a rough year. I've yeah, you've been through some. some yes, stuff. <laughs> I mean, January second, my husband left me, so yeah, that that just started out my year for me. But I mean, it ended up being a great thing, um, and I'm absolutely living life to the fullest now, um, and. You know, even at Universal, I was saying the last time I was in Florida was with my ex. And it the experience was completely different. Like, I couldn't do this. I couldn't do that. I couldn't, you know, like, it was very dictated. And this time I was like, I'm going to go on everything. And I'm yep. going to do what I want. And if I want to stop here and take pictures, I'm going to do it. And I'm like, just let me do my thing. Um, but it was, it's been a hard year. And it's been hard to stay focused on my fitness and my food. And, you know, you, you gravitate towards those natural comfort mm-hmm. things, which for us as bariatric patients is food. Yeah. That's that's mm-hmm. what we do. A lot of us are. Yeah. And it's been so important to be able to see these people like continue to kill it. And I'm like, okay, I got this. Like, it's okay to have a, you know, a bad six months. It's okay to have a bad day. But as long as you keep trying every day and, and seeing all these people, um, and even watching Mel on a daily basis put in the hard work yeah. motivates me to be a better person every day. Well, the support group helps us too. It d- like that's the one hundred percent does. Like we have, it like does. it's like a little family. Like we're mm-hmm. all supporting each other, making sure everyone's on track and how they're doing. Like we're really real in there. Like water. You know, like I told my dad, I was like, I I totally miss my vitamins. This is ridiculous. Like I'm gonna go now to go get it. Like yes, because they're all talking about it, and I was like, oh yeah. Gotta get those. You know, they like, hold us accountable. Yeah, absolutely. That we have to yeah. take our vitamins. We have yeah. to get all of our water. water. We have to get all of our protein. We have to stay focused. We gotta get moving. We gotta get moving. Yeah. I mean, it's really when you're by yourself, you can make every excuse in the book mm-hmm. to not do something. Yep. So, but when you're in a group of people that all know what you should be doing, <laughs> we all yeah. know what we're supposed to be doing. You automatically are more accountable to yourself to say because I don't know I I've never lied like no, which there. is really funny I like mm-hmm. in your in the group like I've never been like oh yeah I got everything done no I, <laughs> like, no, I did not no, um, we're comfortable like, yeah, yeah it's a very comfortable like nobody is um talked down to no judgment there's no judgment if you ate a donut i mean let's be honest we totally had a simpsons donut oh, yesterday so cool what yes because yeah. i for i know right yeah. it's like you're okay you can live your life yeah, you, yeah. you know oh no i know yeah yeah <laughs> no no carbs here um but yeah we i mean we had a donut but then today we woke up we had an egg scramble we you know there there is a consistency but we can easily go into that group chat and say oh yeah we had a donut yesterday so we did not hit our protein goal mm-hmm. because we were we were living life yep but today we're back on it and we can do this and we had messages the other day of somebody that was I don't remember it was something good it was a non-scale victory and 
everybody was was liking it and saying, oh my gosh, that's awesome. So it's like, it really amps you up to have that support. And it's just so needed. So, well, we want more like better aftercare. So Mm -hmm. like, what does that kind of look like with you guys? Yeah, I mean, it's very important. In the acute post-op period, you want to look at the incisions, and there's mm-hmm. all those things. So mm-hmm. people are very compliant with coming to their appointments. And for us, again, it's virtual. So mm-hmm. one week, eight weeks. Then it's okay. six months. All right, I'm 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 getting used to this new life, mm-hmm. this new eating way. You know, I have some questions for the dietitian maybe. So that's six months. And that's when we start to check labs. So we've talked a lot about mm-hmm. that. And you guys mm-hmm. mentioned the multivitamin, the calcium, mm-hmm. making sure you're compliant with yeah. those things, mm-hmm. deficiencies. You're not going to feel them perhaps in the beginning, but they can be major with these operations, Mm -hmm. sleeve, bypass, Mm -hmm. duodenal switch, you name it, it can happen. Mm -hmm. Then we see patients at one year and then annually. Mm. So again, it's all virtual. Mm -hmm. And then with the aftercare program, we are very soon going to offer if you're post-op and you're experiencing these issues, the Mm -hmm. medical weight loss side of things. And then we're going to open it up to all comers. For anyone whose BMI is over 27, yeah. who has comorbidities, BMI over 30, or if their BMI is over 35 and they don't quite want surgery, they can start with the medical weight loss as well. So we're wow. we're gonna have very a very systematic approach to it. Again, if that's not really working for you or you're mm-hmm. having side effects, then let's change it up. So wow, that's amazing. That's amazing to give not just you know severely obese. It's you were you're now treating everybody that's having a weight issue. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And I love that. It's not just for, you know, this person over here that is weighing 500 pounds. You know, you could be 250 and be like, OK, I need some help. I don't I don't know where to start. I don't know where to what to eat or to exercise. Like that's that's amazing that you can offer that to people. Well, in this thank community. You. Mm-hmm. you guys are the ultimate hype. I mean, after this, I think, uh, I don't know. If people aren't coming to <laughs> AdventHealthWeightLoss.com, one more shameless plug right there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> not shameless at all. Because, I mean, from just what we've discovered from Advent Health and you two, like, this is this is where bar- bariatric surgery is now. This is the future of We're bariatric surgery. the pioneers, surgery. too. We're yeah. yes. setting this new mark with the help of you guys. And like, it should be there. It should be. Yeah. And, like, so. guys, like, we've talked to them. Like, like we've we've met several people and like the common theme is all they want to do is make people feel better and be healthier. Mm-hmm. Like they just that's what help. you can see in everyone. So you're mm-hmm. just like, okay, this is real. Like these mm-hmm. people really mean what they're saying mm-hmm. and they're putting their money where their mouth is because yes. like they want to help as much as they can. Yes. So like this is going to be I'm hopefully a destination spot. <laughs> yes. We hope so too. It will be. Destination Advent Health. Oh my gosh. So, can I ask one more question? So, uh, with Advent Health. Yes. So how how did you get linked up with them? Like, oh, yeah. We didn't forget that. Yes. <laughs> how? You know, I'm like, here here and wait a minute. Boom. How did this happen? So they have been on a search for this for a long time. And okay. there's this very famous bariatric surgeon who um, was thinking about coming here. And he ultimately, for lots of reasons, took a, a job somewhere else. Okay. But he came to visit us in Baltimore because we are very we were very busy there. We mm-hmm. were one of the busiest practices in the US. So oh, wow. when he started this other practice, he came up and he watched us do our thing. Wow. Okay. So when we were um, there, we took a picture together. We put it on, I put it on Instagram, I put it on of Facebook. Course. Of course, that like this guy who is like the equivalent to like the Beyonce type levels, like selling out stadium kind of a guy. Wow. Um, he's been he's been quoted in the literature um, twenty five thousand times. I mean, like he's wow. extraordinary. Like if you're a weight loss surgeon, wherever you're at on planet Earth, you probably know about this guy. <laughs> so he was gonna come here, and so anyway, so he was like, well, let me see what are they doing up there. How are they getting this volume? What is this stuff they're doing mm-hmm. on the social yeah. media? So they he spent the day with Gus and I and our team, and so when I put the picture on there, my friend friend who is here at Advent Health, Dr. George Nassif, he does mm-hmm. colorectal, he saw it and he's like, wait a second, if we were here for this guy and this guy's going to see this girl, then why don't we just see what she's all about? And yeah. then it began. That was the, the beginning of the story and um, the power of social media never fails. And I mean, our relationship started with a DM. A DM. Yeah, social I know, media. I, I DM'd you. And, that, and yeah. that's it. It was a simple picture. And mm-hmm. next thing you know, my entire life changed from one post. Yay. It's so crazy. It's so yeah. exciting. Are you enjoying Florida? Yeah. Oh my gosh. We I mean, are are loving it. You love the weather. I mean, I mean, for the most part, it, I mean, it's humid. It is humid. 
But you probably, I mean, the sunshine. Yes. I mean, it's beautiful. And the palm, I mean, palm trees. Mm -hmm. They're super cool. They're so cool because we don't see those. Yeah, no, no. We were were like pulling up to um, one of these places we were going to and like when they're starting to grow, I was like, Kelly, they look like a sideways pineapple. And they do. (laughs) (laughs) They're just like. Sitting yeah, there, they're just like, chilling. They're perfect. Like they're, yeah. they're cute. I love it. Yes. When I was born in California, so like I, when I was a kid, I saw oh. them. But we moved when I was like five and a half, six. So I was like, I haven't seen a palm tree in so long. Like yes. it's crazy. I just <laughs> like the like relaxation of palm trees. Like Me too. Yeah. It does make you feel like okay, we can relax here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Although we have not stopped. Nope. 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 That's just that's nope. just how we roll. Yes. You guys have too much energy to stop. And now that all this weight is gone, my gosh, you're unstoppable. Oh I mean, my gosh. We fact. we did about twenty thousand steps yesterday. Mm-hmm. I mean, we were hobbling Listen, out. Could you have done twenty thousand steps and three hundred and no. some pounds? Nope. 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 That's yeah, and the bottom line. I did that in shorts and that was actually the first like That was a non scale victory that, for you. Yeah, it was. I was about to say, like I've mm-hmm. actually never gone to any like theme park or outdoor stuff with shorts on. Wow. Yeah. Yes. So awesome. many interesting considerations. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. So it's kind of yeah. crazy. And I was like, I wouldn't, 308 pounds, your thighs are rubbing. You're starting to get a rash. It's going to burn. Yeah. And it's mm-hmm. like, I've had those. Those are painful. They yeah. are very painful. So like, no, I don't have that today. And I'm super stoked. Yes. Yeah. And she looks amazing in shorts, by the way. Like, <laughs> I, I'm I ha- checking these ladies out in person. And <laughs> I'm liking what I'm seeing here. Thank you. <laughs> we are actually going to be starting a new uh, physical challenge of ourselves yeah so look forward to that people. um we're gonna yeah. be taking before pictures mm-hmm. and we're gonna be hitting it hard because we both realize that there's more to the there's more we want to well, do we went and saw dana so we're gonna play dana devotion from devotion nutrition yes, she's yes. amazing and she's all about bariatrics helping us out mm-hmm. like um we we're the first ones that kind of like reached out to her to do more things mm-hmm. and she kicked our butts in the workout room and but we we, bought, were, we loved we, it we loved it and we we're like oh my god this is amazing like i, I miss doing this because i stopped mm-hmm. for the last few years because i was in it like crazy mm-hmm. and it was funny because we we're doing like the presses and stuff. I'm like, oh, I remember doing all this. Mm-hmm. And I was doing 100 pounds just doing leg presses, just killing yep. it. So. And she like she showed us very easy, simple gym moves yeah. that you can do to work your whole body. And I was like, man, I love the gym. And I don't know why. Well, I mean, COVID, all yeah, the gyms shut I mean, down. And we just reopened in Oregon. Yeah, Oregon so, July 1st. Was, um, but yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I'm going back. And I actually – called my boyfriend that night and I was like okay so I'm going to be going to the gym you who he also had he weight had loss surgery he yeah. had bypass oh wow yeah. yes so I was like hey want to go to the gym with me <laughs> and he was like I was like if you don't want to it's totally fine I will go by myself but I mean I think it would be really cool for so I think him me and Mel are all going to start going to the gym and yeah. getting toned the accountability and, buddies yeah and yeah and we've actually all known each other for 20 years yeah Oh, That's wow. awesome. That's so, middle school. Yes. So, yes. Crazy. Was, well, guys, this has been awesome. I know. Yes, I can't believe it. Is there anything that we might have missed that you guys want to add before we go? Because we want to make sure we cover all of the things. All of the things. I mean, there's so much more. No? I feel like we could talk Dr. for three Bella, more hours. Anything? I think we covered a lot. There yes. Might be more, but uh, yes. we can do it again, I guess, oh. right? Oh, there'll be more of these. One for sure. Where are the Bella down. Diaries? When are they coming? Oh, Ooh, should uh, yeah, oh, we do we need to Dr. add Dr. some Bello Diaries? You do. Too? You need. You need oh, that. Yes. Can okay. loosen up this now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can loosen up the time. That's a commitment. Or That's relax. once a month you meet with us. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> for everything. So just. I love that he's just like. Oh, oh I don't know. Just looking at it's looking good. Yeah, he's enjoyed this. I know he has. I can see it in his face. Uh, he's loved it. He, Yay! I, some of my ideas are a little bit wild, and he's like, "What are we doing? Where are we going?" I'm like, just come to the studio. He has no idea what yes. we're even doing today, and here we are. She you can't. know what's funny too is we tried to slide into your DMs, and oh, we you have, never responded. Did. Oh, did <laughs> oh, we yes. did. Ugh. But we finally, there. we finally nailed you down. We finally nailed you down. You're here. She kept this. She kept this um, hiding until the last second. Oh, oh he'll run. He'll yeah. run. I have to like just. Don't worry. Where are we going? Like, just walk in there. And he's like, what is this? Just, no, th- just put it on. Dr. It's Dovek says it's fine. <laughs> it's wonderful to meet you. I think you're it. great advocates. And we need, we need more of you out there. Thank Aww, you. Thank, thank you so you. much. And it was an honor to, to record. Meet we'll meet with you and record with yeah, you. It's a- just complete honor to, for us. So yeah. thanks, thanks again for being on with us. Yes. And, uh, 
Thank you guys. Look look on our website, our yeah. Sleep Life Podcast. We have links to everything. We're gonna now add the link to Advent Health on our website. Yeah. Um, and then hopefully we have a Dr. Bello Diaries Please. coming on. And then he would have Stay his tuned. own page. Um yeah. and we have we I mean we have so much on there. Don't forget to head over to patreon.com forward slash OSLP. Check out the winner's bench, become a benchy. You get to talk with us and uh Yeah, and don't forget to go to Advent Health Weight Loss. Dot com. Yes. And hit that button. It's just hit a that button. easy button. Come easy on, button. I think we need one for our studio. Oh, I think we might have to get one. Yeah. Don't worry. They'll mail you one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, All right. thank you guys for tuning in, and we will see you next, next time. time. Bye. Bye.